Well, it's just gone 8.30 a.m. in the morning. We are here at Bower Field Domestic Terminal, bound for Longana Airport on the island of Ambai. These small planes always make me a little bit nervous, especially when you find out just how old they actually are. To Longana flight time about uh, one hour. For safety, first in the seatbelt, and you have a safety briefing card in front of your seat. Thank you. Welcome to Ambai, we have just landed here at Longana Airport. Now we are heading hopefully to the final village before we start the trek up Monare Vui Volcano. I'm just thankful we are not having to walk this stretch because it's a long, long way. <laughs> well we are stuck, it happens on every single expedition. Right, here we go. We've all had to get off the truck to make it a little bit lighter. No problem at all. Okay, well it's just gone 1.40pm and we have started the ascent of Manaro Vui Volcano. So we're shortly going to be entering the jungle and what we do, there's a few nasties that we have to be careful of. There are snakes, many snakes on this island. There are scorpions, there are spiders the size of your hand. Probably the most annoying thing is the ticks. Yeah. So we have to just periodically check our legs and make sure we have nothing Nasty crawling up. These are all the porters here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They don't wear any shoes, just bare feet. Yeah. Everyone. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's hot, it's muggy, and it's hard work. Uh, we've just passed the first checkpoint. Checkpoint one of five. Well, we are at checkpoint four. We are at uh, just over 1300 meters and we're in the clouds already. Well, we're only uh, minutes away from the top of the caldera. The vegetation in the jungle here is uh, starting to thin as we get closer. Fortunately, it has cleared up. Through here, if I zoom up, you can see the active cone there. This cone uh, produces one of the highest volumes of sulfur dioxide of any uh, volcano currently. And then over here is Lake Vui. Now there's actually three different lakes up here within the caldera. You'll also notice that all the trees here are dead during the major eruption of 2017 and 18. It was the site of numerous pyroclastic flows and lateral blasts and uh, it's just absolutely wiped out the uh, the jungle that once stood here well, it's almost dark now we are not far now from where we will camp for tonight radio well we finally at the bottom of the caldera and now we're walking through uh, what once was a, a lush jungle here uh, but it has been all but obliterated. We've almost got the tents up. We are in complete whiteout conditions. Gosh, there's a lot of dust and particles in the air here. So the uh, boys have lit a fire just getting some water boiled up. Gonna have some hot dinner. Well, just taking a few photos behind me here towards the crater, and there is a very 
very distinctive orange glow. Now the air quality around here is really, really bad. And uh, let me show you what I'm breathing. Probably need to get my gas mask on shortly because uh, this is not good. Well, good morning. It's uh, day two here on Ambai, and we are in the caldera of Manaro Vui volcano. And I've just woken up to some very uh, good weather, clear conditions. This is the first time I've ever seen it like this. Uh, behind me here, we have the active cone, one of the highest producers of sulfur dioxide of any volcano currently. It's uh, just such a beautiful, beautiful spot. So in the middle here we have the inner Tefra ring. We have Lake Kessa over there and uh, Lake Vui. Now Lake Vui used to be significantly larger. However, in 2017, 2018, the eruption created this uh, huge new cone here and then divided the lakes off. So they're now known as Lake Vui 1 and over in the distance is Lake Vui 2. This lake is, uh, we call uh, Manaro Kesa. Uh, Manaro means uh, lake and Kesa, it means the color of this uh, lake, the, which is blue. And the other lake is Manaro Vui. Uh, Manaro it means uh, the other same. Also lakes and Vui means holy. For the villagers, uh, this lake is uh, very special to us because it's the paradise of the dead people from the village and the, the all the spirits from the, or for the dead peoples came up here. Now a lot of the plume here is most likely a mixture of sulfur dioxide and water vapor. We have seen some that are definitely darker, suggesting there may be a small amount of ash present as well. We're shortly going to be heading down there and over to the uh, lava flows. These lava flows are a lot more recent. They were the result of quite significant fire fountaining back in 2023. It's cleared up a bit. You can see the uh, very active fumaroles within the crater here. Very vigorous degassing. So now we're heading down into the cone. It's a little bit steep here. When we were here last time, we became the first ever people to go down here. So now we're walking over uh, towards the active crater and the uh, lava flows. We're going to up the danger level and we're going to try and make our way. The first people ever uh, down inside of the 2018 crater here. This is pretty special. First people to ever come down inside this crater here. God, that was scary. Uh, but we're here. Look at this place. Wow. Incredible. vertical fragments here of solidified lava that cause when a lava flow, at least the surface of it, cools and partially solidifies and the lava keeps building up behind it and it pushes the solidified fragments upwards. You can see a very sort of blue coloured plume that is a very very active vent, concentrated sulfur dioxide. I think it's time to get out of here. If you're wondering how I even got down here, it was somewhere over there. It just looks impossible to get out of so hopefully I can get out. This would be a bit of a problem. 
one of the most uh, remotest spots on the planet. You don't want to be stuck down here. Nobody, nobody is coming to rescue you. Well, I'm glad I'm out of there. That's a relief. So now we're going to head around and see if we can get a view of Lake Vui Tu. There's Lake Vui Tu. First time I've ever seen it. We're just uh, leaving the obliterated forest here and heading down to the ash plain down towards Lake Kessa. And here we are at Lake Kessa. Now last time we were here this uh, lake was actually quite warm. Yeah, it's actually quite cold. Well it's day three here up on Manaro Vui and uh, as you can see it is completely fogged in. I think we've been very lucky with the weather yesterday. I've had enough, we need to get out of here. So uh, we're gonna pack up and uh, head down the volcano. Mm -hmm. 